emodels.co.uk. Make something awesome. first part of the process is of course to remove this shonky super chunk paint now you could skip this whole part of the process if you wanted to if you're repainting something that you did in your youth and you've dug it out of a cupboard and you're like oh my god when i painted this i used half a potato i can paint much better now thank you very much like and subscribe then you know you'd be forgiven for just priming over it and repainting it i can't do that here though because first of all it bears the mark of its maker it's got brush marks everywhere and little rough bits and stuff that will show through the primer coat even if i reprime it and also there's some bits where the paint has pooled and obscured some rivet detail and things like that i need to get rid of that and just get back to bare plastic so we need to do that now so what do we need to do this very simple I'm going to use a product called Dettol, which is commonly widely available here in the UK for a couple of quid for a bottle. Available in Europe as well, and in the US I think you can get it, but it might be expensive, so you might need to look into alternative products like Purple Power or Simple Green, things like that. Uh, you can use things like Terps and White Spirit to strip paint. I don't recommend it because they stink, they're horrible, and they may damage the plastic. But Dettol uh, is basically an antiseptic product for cleaning wounds, but it contains chlor 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 Oh, I hate science words. Chlorozylenol. And xylene is a paint stripper or widely used as a paint stripper. So this is a form or a derivative of xylene, chlorozylenol. It's a little less harmful on plastics, but it will strip most paints. Star, star, it may not. Not every single, I mean, there will be some exceptions, but most paints for our purposes, acrylics, lacquers, enamels, it'll take them off no problem. It won't do any harm to your model. I wouldn't recommend using this on a Bandai kit because Bandai plastic is weird, but any other model, you'd be absolutely fine. Now, how exactly do you use it to strip paint? Easy peasy, cheesy peas, dead easy. Put your model in a container, make sure it's a container with a lid because you're going to need to seal it later and make sure the container is tall enough to fit the entire model in and all you do is you basically just pour the Dettol in a bit like this and that's all you do pour it in use it neat don't dilute it you can if you want but you don't need to it works a bit faster if it's neat basically cover it in Dettol put the lid on and then leave it now depending on the paint that's on the model and I don't know what paints on here it could take half an hour it could take an hour it could take a day as a matter of course I'd say leave it overnight if you can just to start with just to give it time to work because like I said you don't know what paint you've got on here now the other thing is although it does smell nice it can be an overpowering smell so make sure your container has a lid and make sure to put it somewhere out of the way I left mine in the kitchen overnight but it still stank the house out if you've got a shed or a garage you can do it in that's better and try not to do it in your workroom where your workbench is because it will just give you the fumes of death you won't, you won't be harmed it's just a bit overpowering so make sure you've got a lid on it and make sure you can put it somewhere out of the way. Once it's been sat for long enough, get yourself a scrutty old toothbrush and it's time for the next step. This has been sat for about 20 hours because I had to go off and do other things and then I went to bed. And all we're going to do is basically start scrubbing away with the toothbrush. You're going to be gentle with it, don't go in heavy handed, but all you need to do is start scrubbing away. Now, if it's not fully worked its magic, then you'll see the paint doesn't really want to come off and all you need to do is put it back in and leave it for another few hours maybe. But I left it for 20 hours and although it's not coming off immediately, a little bit of a gentle scrub sees the paint starting to come off and you just need to work your way around the model scrubbing as you go. Now, one very important thing, do not, do not, do not get any water anywhere near this. At this stage, the only liquid on this model should be Dettol. You want to get all the paint off there. You'll still have a few little bits and bobs left, little marks here and there and bits in recesses, that's fine. But you want to get all the paint off. If you add water while there's still paint on the model, that paint will become like a gelatinous, horrible, clumpy mess that you'll never get off. 
Now you will need to rinse it at the end of the process to get any Dettol off the surface so that it doesn't affect any future paint coats. But here's the guide. Get it in the Dettol, scrub it down, scrub it down, get all the paint off. When you're happy there's no more paint to come off, then you transfer it to some warm water with a little bit of washing up liquid in it, a little bit of dish soap. That's a surfactant. It breaks anything away from the surface. Get it in some warm soapy water and then scrub it gently with another toothbrush, a different one just to get any detail off the model. Once that's done, leave it to dry in the air for 24 hours and you're good to go. Just never ever get this wet while it's still got paint on it and detail. That will just end in sadness, maximum sadness, total sad factory. Okay, so there we go. They've now been stripped back. Now they are just drying nicely and ready to roll.